Let's get to the Daily Dish. Here we go. Roll it up. Well, okay, if you've been watching the Olympics and thinking, hey, I could do that, well, yeah. you're not alone. This is a poll of 1,000 Americans, and get this, 40% say they think they're fit enough to compete in at least one sport at the Summer or Winter Games. Now, only 22% of women feel that way, yeah. but 60% of men and nearly 70% of those under the age of 35 think they've got what it takes to go for the gold. So this possibly inflated view of your athletic prowess? Well, it isn't new. In 2019, a poll showed that one in eight men thought they could beat Serena Williams <laughs> at tennis. So, I mean, do you, uh, yeah, I, do you think that when you're watching uh, some of No, these? I do not. I do really, not the either. only sport that I watch that I'm thinking, I could do that, is curling. <laughs> curling, yeah. And I mean, there are a few. It's in the broom, <laughs> yes. you know, brush the ice. It's the Winter Olympics. If you've never seen it, they've got it's like this winter, little, yeah. like, weight. And he's kind of slide it and on then, the ice. Yeah, but then, and then here it's comes. It's kind of like an ice version of bowling, a shuffleboard. Thing. Yeah, yes. it's, it's, yeah, I could do that. I, 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 I couldn't mean, do it well, but I could do it. I think, now, it's, I think they had trouble with that baton the, top pass on uh, oh, the relay didn't team. Go so I, th I think that wasn't you know great. Right. I think it, that might have been one of those things that triggered and said, well, I could do that. Right. You might be able to do a baton pass. You're not right. going to be able to run, run as fast no, as those I mean, dudes. I was watching the end of the decathlon last night. There was no way I was making it to the end of oh, that thing. Oh, my goodness, Holy. I know. And they were all, like, dying, you know, at the end, all on the track. And yeah. I was like, oh, no. What? I just think it's funny that they say they think they're fit enough. I mean, I think maybe if you think, oh, if I trained like them, yeah. maybe I could do it. I mean, you're sitting there thinking, oh, yeah, right now I could just go out no. there and do I've, I've seen doing. some of those guys. No. No. They're not ready for the Olympics. <laughs> you cannot do it. I'm <laughs> they, sorry. They may think they are, but they are not. Uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. All right, check this out. There's a new handbag wow. for pasta-loving fashionistas, mm. and it appears to be a big hit on social media. So this limited edition leather purse was made in the image of a Berea pasta box. We've all seen those. An image of the bag immediately went viral after it was posted on Twitter. It racked up 220,000 likes. Really? 25,000 retweets in less than 24 hours. The designer made it purely out of his love of pasta during the pandemic. And there are just 100 handbags available, and they're only about 200 bucks. I mean, really, that's not, you know, I mean, a lot of purses these days are going to be that or All a right. lot more. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> you, would you go for that over Michael Kors? I would not go for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I'm going to spend my $200 on my next purse, I'm getting, yeah, the Michael Kors. Uh, not that I would say, but I mean, I mean it would, Oh, now you are, I mean, you're a pasta fan, we all are, right, I think. Yeah. But if there was one thing that, you know, that would signify you that you yeah. could put in a purse, it would be what, fruit snacks maybe? Oh, fruit roll-ups. Fruit yes. roll-ups, yeah. <laughs> if I had go. to make it out, yeah, that's one of my, that's like my favorite. Oh, so if anybody out there forever. is feeling crafty and wants to give yeah. uh, Stacey a fruit roll-up. Yeah, box of food. Purse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're a fashionista, come I on guess. now. You, you, oh, you, you, you were there. making fun of my bag when I came in today. I have to have well, large bags, so mine well, might be about 400 dollars. When I walk in here, right, people, I bring a lot of stuff. We talk about fruit roll-ups. You know how big the size of that box is. <laughs> you could have fit about 412 <laughs> into that bag yeah. that you brought in today. <laughs> it's a cute bag, though. A yeah, very cute bag. <laughs> cute bag. All right, this man's going to be busy even yeah, later tonight. So Friday right. after 5 in downtown Owensboro, we'll have a special guest, Mr. Ron Rhodes, oh, judging good. a big competition tonight. It's the finals of the WBKR's Friday night fight. So it's going to have Ron as a judge. The so Battle of the Bands contest really has been going on for weeks, right? And yeah. tonight, you along with the other judges get to crown the champion. Yes. I mean, the winner then gets to perform a full show on the main stage in just a few weeks. DJ Shea is going to be performing on the Ruoff Party stage tonight. And as for that, Jago Holmes patio stage, the right. Miles Daniel B Daniels band was scheduled to perform after 8, but they unfortunately had to cancel, and a replacement is going to be uh, named later today. So there is going to be stuff going on, but you are going to get to crown this big champion. And I just want to say to all those contestants out there, we're very proud of you, good luck <laughs> to you, and I can be bribed with food. <laughs> Definitely food. I, I will say this, though. The winner, it's not just any concert they're going to be fronting. Right. Be fronting all the cool kids concert coming oh, wow. up here on Labor Day weekend. The winner tonight is going to do okay. that. They are going to be leading, kicking yeah. off the show with their performance. And that's, you know, guys from NSYNC. Yes. They've got guys from yes. Backstreet Boys. Boys. They've got guys degrees. from 98 Degrees. Yeah. So it's kind of a big deal. That's a huge deal. And they are going to be like the opening act. Because they're expecting an even bigger crowd for that. Oh, night, I can I imagine. Yeah, yeah. they're going to be a really big one for that one, no doubt. Awesome. Well, good luck to you tonight. Yeah, really. I need it. It's going to be a tough choice. I I'm hope sure. there's a back way out that I can sneak out <laughs> near the end. <laughs>